This is a tribute to Dr. Lee, Chen Quishi, and Fang Bin. Before I start, I'm gonna take a drink for them. They are eternal. They they deserve to be in the history books. But just give me one second. I gotta take this sip. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> Dr. Lee told us about the virus way back in December. He saw the pneumonia. He saw what was happening. What did China do? They harassed him. They grabbed him. They told him to sign his papers saying that you made false statements. And he ended up catching the virus. He ended up dying from it. There was a lot of dirty play going on there. We will never know what happened to Dr. Lee, but he became a victim of, of the Chinese Communist Party's brutality. And now they're saying he's a hero, that he's a martyr. You got the people that silenced him, possibly even got him killed, now saying that he's a martyr, that he's a hero. History, history repeats itself. America killed Dr. King. Then they called him a hero. I made a holiday after him. The same game. It's the same game. Then we had Chen Quishi. Who went down to the hospitals of Wuhan. Went to Wuhan. He went to the belly of the beast. And he showed us the harsh reality. That the people of Wuhan were suffering. He was a brave man. A very, very brave, honorable, respect, respectful man. And then one day, he disappeared. Because the Chinese Communist Party took him away, kidnapped him. Possibly even killed him. Spent 80 days. We don't know where he's at. His mom still posts on his Twitter every single day saying, We still cannot find Chen Quishi. He is possibly under house surveillance. He, he could still be alive. You know, she, she could be right. And then we have Fang Bin. The Honorable Fang Bin. He was the last one left. He broke down in one of his last videos. Saying Dr. Lee is dead. Started crying. He said Chen Quishi has gone missing. Obviously captured by the, by the Chinese government. And yet this simple businessman. Still stood strong. He still kept calling out the government. He still kept recording videos. He still kept exposing the truth. He called the people of China to fight for their freedom. To fight for their liberty. To... to uh, counter and protest against this corrupt government and then he too disappeared we don't know where he's at I will not believe or take anything seriously from China until they tell us where is Chen Quishi where is Fang Bin why aren't the governments Calling them out on that. Why isn't the American government. Why isn't that orange man telling him. Where is Chen Quishi? Where is Fang Bin? They are the heroes. They are the heroes of this century. They deserve, they, they deserve to be in the history books. Where are they? Where is Chen Bin? Where is, where is Chen Quishi? Where is Fang Bin? If China does not answer any... Screw China. Screw the CCP. Chen Kushi said it straight. He said, he, he said, I don't fear this. He said, he said, you think I'm afraid of you, Chinese Communist Party? They're based. When it comes to Dr. Lee, Chen Kushi, Fang Bin, only got to say one thing. Uh, uh, Hero, uh, base department, 